Alright, hi everyone and welcome to IST 210. I'm your instructor Fred Avely and this is this week's overview. Okay, you can see uh, down below me here is the PNC field, which is a home for the minor league team of the New York Yankees. It's located in Music, Pennsylvania, which is right nestled up against Scranton, Pennsylvania. And the reason why I'm out here is, well, it's springtime. Well, almost springtime. Baseball means spring weather. For those of you who like baseball, you know that the season will be starting up here shortly. For those of you who don't like baseball, well, you probably look forward to other things. And where I'm located right now is also at the base of the mountain where I uh, had a video last time and we were, uh, we were skiing. So I'm hoping that we have spring break beyond us and now we're going to be moving into some other areas and let's talk a little bit about that. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do is, whoa, we're losing a little bit of the camera here. I'm going to actually drive you over, we're going to get a coffee over at Starbucks today and um, we're going to talk a little bit about what's coming up this week. First and foremost, don't ever videotape and drive. It's probably not a good idea. But in any case, we are now moving into the projects. Heavy project time. But more importantly, yeah, we finally get into some SQL. SQL is that great tool and technology that allows us to extract information out of a database. Now for many of you, this is gonna be new. For some of you out there in the class, I'm well aware that you are pretty good at this. You're gonna find some of these initial labs pretty simple and straightforward. Don't underestimate them. If you're at all new to anything working in a database or uh, more importantly working on a computer, which is why many of you are studying this particular degree, I think you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you carve out the necessary time for this particular activity. Okay, so a lot of times when students are first studying anything regarding coding in a formal classroom, they start to automatically equate time with results. So if you're new to this, I just wanna remind you that no matter how much time you actually put into these assignments in working with SQL, it doesn't mean success or failure is a direct correlation. So for example, you're gonna see that um, you might spend, like most of you seem to be doing, a Saturday, and you'll have a Saturday morning free and you're gonna put in about, well, maybe two hours. And you'll find out, out of, uh, I don't know, six or seven SQL statements that you got uh, two done. Well, and then you'll maybe get a more free time later on in the day, and you'll come back to it, and then you'll see, oh, all of a sudden you have uh, another half hour you put into it, and then you try to get some results, and it's still not working. Now you're getting frustrated, it's Saturday night, Assignments due tomorrow night at 11 p.m. It's Sunday. Maybe it's a family day or a relaxing day for you You've been working all week and all of a sudden BAM you're stuck at the computer again And now all of a sudden V Labs is acting squirrely and you're stressing out Hopefully you won't be tempted by the evil internet of solutions where you're taking other people's work and putting your name at the top and saying This is mine! Look at my beautiful work that you cheated on but I know most of you are going to work. So here's the thing. As soon as you get these lab assignments in the next few, as we go across these next few weeks, we're going to have a lot of SQL stuff. Start early in the week. Take a look at the assignment. Read it over. Get a sense of how much work you think you're going to have to put into this. And then once you have that idea, begin to chisel away at it. For those of, that, for those of, that, <laughs> for those of you that are experienced with doing this, as, as I said already, you're, you may find these first couple labs, at least these next two, not too difficult. Now, one of the things, if you're new to this, you're gonna find yourself needing resources, and I will be providing these in the form of a live session. Yes, live sessions for the first go around here, and then some recordings afterwards. On top of that, I'm gonna be conducting meetings with the teams. So, all I could tell you is, um, we're gonna be engaging each other a lot over the next few weeks, and I hope it helps, I really do. All right, so let's take a look at this week's overview on the desktop. Okay, hey everybody, we're in here now. We're looking at lab number four. Yeah, lab number four, we finally arrived and we're now gonna jump into the big world of SQL. Okay, so in lab four, it's a we're gonna wade in, right? 
Earlier in the semester, we had a getting started lab where you dabbled with some SQL that we gave to you. You copy, you paste, you ran, boom, done. Now in this lab, we're gonna be a little bit different. All right, we're gonna ask you to answer at least six questions here. Or not answer questions, but perform these six SQL activities. So we start off with the lab here in, in, in lab number four. You're gonna go out to VLabs. Here we are at the VLabs here. We're gonna expand databases a little slow here at first. And while wow, that's expanding, um, we could scroll down. And this is important now. You won't be using your particular instance at this time, but you're gonna come in here and you're gonna look for the IST210WC folder. Remember that one? Yeah, sure you do. So now you come in here, the tables that we're gonna be working with are all of these with the prefix of UC underscore okay it's a university coastal uh, database so when you come back to the lab here where did I go okay you're gonna come in and you're gonna write some uh, what they're known as uh, simple SQL statements on a single table you will not be writing SQL using joins in this particular lab for those of you who know what joins are I know and I'll explain it for those of you who don't know what joins are forget I even said it these are simple select statements so I'll be providing some tips and some videos in here. And I'm also gonna be doing a live session this week. If you have time to come, that's awesome. If you don't have time to come, it'll be recorded and posted for you to review later. Now this lab is due this Sunday. And one of the most important things that I'd like for everybody to hear me say is get started on this early if it's new to you, right? Because, well, all of this is new to you and you don't wanna be getting stressed Saturday night, as I said this in the video prior to this, get started and look at these. So you're gonna be writing these uh, SQL statements and, I've, and one of the things you're gonna find very helpful is the ERD that you prepared in lab one. You know, that entity relationship diagram that showed how your tables were related. These will help you write queries, guaranteed. All right, now, if you're feeling rusty with getting connected to VLabs, I've also produced a link here that'll shoot you back to that lab. It'll give you all the settings for your server and how to connect. And remember now, once again, if you do run into a technical problem, my hands are tied, you know, I can't help really. All you could do is email the help desk and then please CC me on that email so I could see you sending that email out. What I don't like to see is a student say, oh, I couldn't get my homework done because the dog ate the computer. So I think one of the things you could do is as soon as you encounter a technical problem, which they do occur, email the help desk, CC me on it. I see it go out at 11.10, or excuse me, yeah, 11.10 on Sunday night, and now you're covered. Now you're covered. But if you come back to me on Monday or Tuesday, gosh, you know, which is way later, and you say, I, I didn't get it done. Well, that's a problem. I sent an email to the help desk. Well, when did you send it? Oh, I forgot I didn't send it. Well, now you're just burying a, yourself in a big hole. All right, now submitting the work. All I need for this particular assignment is just the SQL commands and the execution statement that says your SQL successfully completed. I do not need the data output. Why? Well, I'm gonna be running your SQL statements. Not all of them. I pick and choose which ones, and I like to see the output. If I don't get the output, typically it's an error, okay? Simple as that. And that's all you have to do with this particular lab. It's wonderful, right? It's wonderful. So the other thing, uh, I'm gonna pop over here to our calendar, and we're gonna take a look here real quick at what else is coming due. And here we are at the end of spring break. We're now rolling into the final stretch of the semester. It's exciting, right? So if you click on the activities, you'll see that we have chapter seven where you can look up a lot of the sequel or look at the videos I produce and you have a chapter seven assessment. All right, you may see the uh, live session appear during the week here. I'm not sure if we'll do it Wednesday, I think probably Tuesday night or Wednesday night. I'm, I'll be deciding that here shortly. And if you can't make it, fine. If you can make it, great, come on and enjoy it, it'll be fun. And other than that, we continue to roll. All right, have a great one everybody. Liberty and the pursuit of happiness. We fought for these ideals, we shouldn't settle for less. These are wise words, enterprising men quote them. Don't act surprised, you guys, because I wrote them. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Yeah, so there you go. There's an overview of this week's lab. And uh, just as a follow up, I was in New York City. I would have done some videotaping from there, but I realized I was uh, forgetful. I don't know how I realized that. In any case, uh, my family and I had the the absolute pleasure of attending Hamilton 
which is a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous show. If you have an opportunity to listen to the music and the lyrics, I think it's worth your time, whether you like hip hop and rap or not, which I'm not a big fan of it, but I may be a convert now. In any case, that's all we have for this week, and I look forward to uh, interacting with you all here live coming up this week, so stay tuned for more information. Until then, see ya! Monticello.